This is the Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell Tartar Star. Sugar Bear Star, aka Sugar Bell. This is my Kakai. My Kakai. And my Tartar. Hey. Hey, Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell. She acts like she don't know what you're talking about, but she knows. She knows what you're talking about. Look at her. Don't get camera shy now. Oh, she turned her back to me. Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell. So, it is raining here. Can't go outside. <clears throat> and tomorrow is chemotherapy treatment number four. I'm grateful for the day number six, which is, this is day number six. Um, it's day number six because it is six days from my last treatment. Um, if you all seen my last my video that showed everything that is in this chemo regimen, chemo regimen um, as far as chemicals are concerned, you'll notice that, you know, I haven't began all of them yet. <clears throat> so I've got 12 weeks of two chemotherapies plus immunity therapy that gets injected on a weekly basis. Then at the 13th mark, I get, that's when I start the worst of it. Well, I guess it's all bad, but it's the one that's called the Red Devil because of the color. That's when I start on the 13th week is when I start that chemotherapy along with the chemicals that have already been put in through the IV um, throughout the 12 weeks. They're just adding more. And that will go on for eight more weeks. That chemical has a high chance of heart damage, damaging your heart. <clears throat> But I guess the only way that you can look at it is, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, hang on, sorry about that, <coughs> I knew I was going to gag, <coughs> so I didn't want you to see that part, but Hang on, I might do it again. Hang on. Okay. I'm done gagging. I just don't think it's appropriate to gag on <clears throat> on camera. Nobody wants to see that. You know what gagging looks like. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but, oh, what was I talking about? Oh, the, the red, the, the red devil. That's what they call it. It's just a nickname. 
Um, but I guess doctors figure that people who have healthy hearts can handle it. And if you don't get the treatment, your survival... <coughs> The survival rate isn't good if you don't have the treatment. So, it's life or death. So, I know <clears throat> that this is hard to follow. I know it is. And I appreciate. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I appreciate you all walking with me in this journey. It's hard. It's difficult. But if you have a loved one who has went through chemotherapy treatment, this is what they're going through. Or this is what they did go through. And if you've just been diagnosed, this is what to expect to go through. Trust me when I say that <clears throat> this isn't easy to document but I'm not doing it for me I'm doing it for those that will be watching this in the future to give them a little insight on what to expect even though it's scary at least they're going to have a footprint to go by um, I also think that it's important that family understands what their loved one is going through and their emotions that they are going through, um, the pain and, and the, some of the suffering they're going to, <clears throat> I'm getting ready to choke again, hang on, okay, sorry, I'm back, <laughs> anyways, the families kind of understand or <clears throat> relate to what their family members are going through. It's important. My hair has been falling out in clumps. I'm contemplating on cutting it off completely I did just order a wig please don't make any memes of me or make fun of me though but the haters if you don't like me I understand but please don't don't do that I'm asking you nicely please don't that's not right <clears throat> it's hard enough as it is but I'm willing to put myself out there. But please be kind. That's why I'm not too ready to share my hair loss completely with everyone. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I have a couple haters. Um, I don't know why. I haven't done anything to anybody, but that's here nor there. <clears throat> um, I do have videos or footage from the last couple times I went hiking before I started my chemo. And I'll be working on those to get those out to you just to break things up. And so you can see what my life was before this. Also, I have a, a footage <clears throat> of, I'm trying not to gag again. It comes and goes. I don't know why, it just does. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh. People sent me gifts. I appreciate it so much, but you guys don't have to send me anything. If you could send me something, just send me a get well card. That would be good enough. Um, but I did 
film some of that and so I was gonna <clears throat> work on that slowly tomorrow will be the chemotherapy treatment I'll make it a little shorter than the last time the only time it was way longer last this on the third video the tr for third treatment video was because I had so many different doctor's appointments <clears throat> And so this time, I just have lab work, see the oncologist, and get chemotherapy. But tomorrow will be the four hour long instead of three because I get my, the third one added to this one. So it goes two, two rounds of just two, and then I get another, the, the third one added, and then two rounds of just two, and then the third one added. All the way up for 12 weeks at the 12 week mark <clears throat> at the 13th mark is when they add the dioxetri I'll get the names right by the time this is all over <laughs> but it's the, the one that they call red devil scary isn't it it's a red devil for a reason but they just call it that because of the color but it does affect your heart so I have on the one that tells you what the chemical chemotherapy treatment plan is for triple negative breast cancer. I do have that in the video. If you've newly been diagnosed with triple breast cancer, all of the treatments are different and that is because, um, depends on what stage you're in. Um, it also depends if your cancer has been contained or spread to your lymph nodes or organs. <clears throat> it depends on a lot of things. So yours may not be like mine. Mine may not be like yours. All of these are factors that we have to think about um, when it comes to each chemotherapy treatment. One doctor may do one thing, a doc another doctor may be do another. <clears throat> the main goal for the doctor is to try to save your life. So he, he or she is going to do what they can. You've got to trust your doctor. They know what they're doing. <clears throat> but anyways, so this is the vlog for today. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I just didn't feel like it didn't feel like it no um, but I was able to get down lunch and that will probably be my dinner too um, and I added cream of chicken to the recipe that Tiffany Marie said for the rice well I added some cream of chicken just a little bit and I was able to keep that down I didn't put any milk or water or anything like that in the cream of chicken. I just did the minute rice, cooked it the way it's supposed to cook, you know, a cup of water and a cup of rice, put it, bring it to a boil, let it sit, put a little butter on it, a little salt, a little parsley, and then after that, and it set and it, fir it fir you know, firmed up, soft, whatever, um, um, but then I added some cream of chicken to it. It still tastes burnt a little bit, but I was able to stomach it. So that was great. And it just kind of tasted like the bouillon soup that I make. That's just the water and the bouillon granules. It's kind of the same like that. It tasted kind of like that. Um, except for I was able to put some kind of, I put rice in it. So it. It did, it, it did well, and I bet you it tastes really good if your taste buds are okay. So maybe you guys might want to try it, just even for a dinner. Just just for a dinner. Long enough. Um, so the next time you guys will see me will be tomorrow, and I will be going into the hospital to get the fourth <clears throat> chemotherapy treatment. Here's all the, the slippers, my husband brought me. They're my go to treatment slippers. I think they're so cute. They're supposed to be go to treatment slippers, but 
I wear them around the house. <laughs> I love them. All right. Well, I love you all so much. Thank you all for taking this journey with me. Thank you all for the love, encouragement, the comfort, all the prayers. I, you know, I look for you all in the chat to make a comment. Just, I love to communicate with everyone. So thank you all so much for the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you all. Bye.